It's my understanding she was set to graduate high school in May. She should be planning what her future entails. And instead, we are trying to plan out um, a memorial service. People have decided to either to, to, to murder them here in our county or to dump the bodies here. However, that just strengthens our investigators' resolve. Turn yourself in and apologize. Maybe there will be hope for you. She never deserved to pass like that. She deserved a long and happy life. This is the story of Honesty Selby, a vibrant young woman with a bright future ahead of her. She was known for her loving nature and infectious sense of humor. Sadly, Honesty's life would be cut short after starting a new relationship of only two months, and the discovery her loved ones would make would devastate them and change their lives forever. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Williamsburg, Virginia. 18-year-old Honesty Selby was born on January 10, 2005, in Nags Head, North Carolina, and was the oldest of three girls. Honesty spent her childhood in Williamsburg, Virginia, but frequently visited her relatives in North Carolina. Honesty was passionate about fashion, nails, and hairstyling, and she always enjoyed spending time with her family and friends. She was currently enrolled in her senior year at Currida County High School, and with only a few months left before graduation, she had already made plans to join her cousin and graduate from their hometown in Williamsburg, Virginia. Honesty would start dating a 21-year-old man by the name of Andarius McClelland, and the two would have an on-and-off relationship for about two months. Honesty celebrated her birthday on January 10, but the next day nobody could get in contact with her. She seemed to just have disappeared. Honesty's family tried to get in contact with her, and when all attempts failed, they reported her missing. When one of Honesty's friends heard about her disappearance, she looked inside of her phone and realized that Honesty recently shared her location with her. The friend contacted Honesty's family on Wednesday night the 11th and had shared with them Honesty's last location. Honesty's mother contacted authorities and told them exactly where Honesty's last location was, and according to the family, the authorities did nothing. That is when the family decided to go look for her themselves. They headed out to that location, which was a logging path, and they notified the authorities that they were there. On January 11th at approximately 9.05 p.m. in the evening, 911 dispatchers at Isle of Wight County received a call from Honesty Selby's mother, stating that they were on a logging path near Orbit Hunt Club. They were then advised to wait for police to arrive and not to enter the location to prevent the tampering of evidence, but they proceeded into the area anyway in desperation of finding Honesty. They searched the roads in the area and made a horrifying discovery. They found Honesty's body. The authorities arrived 12 minutes after the mother's 911 call. Authorities proceeded to remove everyone from the crime scene and started their investigation. Well, tonight a homicide investigation is underway in Isle of Wight County. Deputies found a woman's body on a remote logging trail. Authorities say it was 18-year-old Honesty Selby, who disappeared just one day after her birthday. Now investigators are looking for the person responsible. Honesty Selby had just turned 18 years old when her family reported her missing two days later. Then that same night, deputies discovered her body abandoned on Blue Ridge Trail. According to the medical examiner's office, Selby died because of a single gunshot wound. Captain Tommy Potter with Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office says her death is under investigation, but says they do not believe that anyone dumped her body there. Captain Potter says they know Selby took an Uber to Newport News the night after her birthday. Her family and friends are urging those who know anything to come forward. Turn yourself in and apologize. Maybe there will be hope for you. So far, no suspects are in custody, but deputies are looking for those who have any information about Selby's whereabouts on January 11th and January 12th. Ebony Selby describes her niece, Honesty Selby, as a loving 18-year-old who was ready for cosmetology school. She was so sweet and caring, just loving, kind. On the last day, Ebony heard from her niece. Honesty said she was planning to come visit her on the Outer Banks. I really didn't get a call until Friday morning with her mother being very concerned. And so, I mean, we started calling around everywhere. Ebony says a friend sent her GPS coordinates for Honesty's phone. That's when they went searching for Honesty. 
we got the coordinates. We went there. Um, it was to a hunting club. We walked two miles down this dark, dirt, muddy road. It was down the dark, dirt, muddy road where Ebony made a discovery no one wants to make. Honesty was found around the Blue Ridge Trail. Uh, when our sheriff's office deputies got out there, they did confirm that there was a deceased body of a black female. They recovered Honesty's phone from the area near her body, and they proceeded to perform a forensic examination of the phone. The phone laid out a timeline that led up to Honesty's final moments alive. They confirmed that Honesty took an Uber earlier that Wednesday from Williamsburg to an apartment complex on Coral Key Place in Newport News. They could see that she arrived in Newport News at 1.49 p.m. on Wednesday, January the 11th. It was revealed that Honesty was seeing a man by the name of Andarius McClelland who lived in Newport News. He cash-apped her money to pay for the Uber to come see him. Investigators began to search for Andarius because he was determined to be the last person Honesty was with before she went missing. Andarius stayed with his brother in an apartment complex on Coral Key Place. Andarius's brother owned a 2001 Dodge Charger, and this vehicle was caught on a license plate reader camera, leaving Isle of Wight County and entering Newport News at 10.47 p.m. on the 11th, the day that Honesty went missing. When detectives spoke with Andarius's brother, he confirmed that Honesty was present at their apartment the day she went missing. He stated that she left with his brother around 7.15 in the evening. They also learned that Andarius's brother owned a 9mm handgun, and he kept it in the home, and Andarius tried to sell his brother's handgun on January 13, three days after Honesty's body was found. Investigators found this firearm in the residence and believed that this was the gun that killed Honesty. Authorities started to search for Andarius between Saturday the 14th and Tuesday the 17th. They conducted surveillance in various locations to see if they could locate Andarius. They located Andarius and took him in for questioning. During questioning, he revealed to investigators that he and Honesty had only just started dating two months ago, and their relationship was on and off. They would hang out at each other's homes from time to time. He would visit her in Williamsburg, and she would come to Newport News to see him. He said that on the night of January 11, Honesty came to his residence in Newport News. He stated that when his brother arrived home from work, he asked him to borrow his car, and that's when he and Honesty left to go to the store. He said afterwards, they both went to look for a place to hang out and smoke marijuana, and that they would do this often. He said they decided to drive to Isle of Wight County to look for a place to smoke, and they found a place. He stated that they drove up a path and parked, started talking, and smoking marijuana outside of the vehicle. At some point, according to Andarius, the two started arguing over their relationship. He said that's when he fired the gun that he had in his hand at the time, striking Honesty. Andarius reported that he panicked and just left the area and went back to Newport News. Investigators reported that Andarius was lying throughout the interview, and at times he did appear remorseful, crying and sobbing. Andarius presented the story of what happened as if the killing of Honesty was an accident, but as stated by authorities, there was some pre-planning involved such as Andarius deciding to grab the handgun and leave his home in Newport News and drive to another county. He told his brother he was going one place but ended up in a totally different area. After he provided his version of events, he was arrested and charged with second-degree murder and the use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. He is being held at the Western Tidewater Regional Jail without bond. Investigators say Andarius McClellan admitted to killing Honesty Selby because of an argument over their relationship. One week after the disappearance of Honesty Selby, Isle of Wight investigators are sharing the evidence that led to her alleged killer, Andarius McClelland. So we were able to piece together based on things that were phone. Deputies say Honesty Selby's mother found her body along a hunting trail in Windsor Friday. Hours earlier, the family reported the 18-year-old missing after not hearing from her for two days. Investigators say Selby's cell phone found at the scene of the crime helped break the case. Phone records show Selby booked an Uber Wednesday afternoon from Williamsburg to an apartment where McClelland and his brother live in Newport News. Police say McClelland also sent Selby money to pay for her ride. Those clues helped lead investigators to McClelland, who they say later confessed. And Darius McClelland told our investigators that he and Honesty had been dating off and on for the past two months. The Newport newsman told investigators he and Selby wanted to find somewhere to smoke marijuana and landed on Isle of Wight. At some point, McClellan said the two got into an argument, he shot her, panicked, and drove off. 
Nobody knows the true story of what happened during Honesty's final moments, but Andarius and Honesty, and she is no longer here to tell her side of the story. But apparently at some point, she must have felt she was in danger, so she sent her location to her friend. Did he drive her to a deserted area against her will? Did he make threats to her and tell her what was about to happen to her? Were they getting along with one another? And the conversation just took a turn for the worst. Why did he need to leave the house with a gun? And why would he be holding the gun while having an argument? And if this was some tragic accident, why didn't he call an ambulance instead of leaving her on a deserted road and heading home as if nothing happened? What happened to Honesty was a tragedy. She left her home to hang out with someone she trusted, and this person took her life from her. She didn't deserve what happened to her, and her mother shouldn't have had to discover her daughter in that way. My condolences to the family. May you continue to heal and someday find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.